Hello. In today's book video, I'm going to be going through a list of the top 100 classic books and seeing how many of them I've read to see how well read I really am. <laughs> and just for fun. Um, so the first book, I'm trying to figure out a way to hold this so I can read it and look at the camera at the same time. Um, the first book is Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. Read it. Loved it. Um, so I'll mark it down a one for that. But I have somewhere to put this. One. Um, the second one is Lord of the Rings by J.R.R. Tolkien. No. But I've seen the movies. <laughs> and I'm not interested in reading the book. Books. Uh. Um, three. Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. Read it. Love it. Um, four, Harry Potter by J.K. Rowling. Um, no, I haven't read it and I haven't seen the movies either. Not interested. Um, five, To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee. Read it. Loved it. Six, The Bible, just parts, not in entirety. Parts, yes. Um, seven, Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte. No, not yet, but I want to. I've tried it many times, but just couldn't get through it. Um, eight is 1984 by George Orwell. No, but I want to. The same thing as Wuthering Heights. I just haven't gone through it yet. Six, His Dark Materials by Philip Pullman. No, and I'm not even sure what that is. Ten, Great Expectations by Charles Dickens. No, I've only read one Charles Dickens. It's probably on here. Um, I've read The Christmas Carol. That was last December. Um, Eleven is Little Women by Louisa May Alcott. Yes, I love it. Um, Twelve is Tests of the Dubervilles by Thomas Hardy. Um, no, but I want to. I just realized that I haven't been writing this down, so let's see. One for that. One for that. And one for that. Number 13 is Catch-22 by Joseph Heller. No, I'm not sure what that's about. 14 is The Complete Works of Shakespeare. Some titles, not all. Some titles I have. I've read four titles. I don't know if I'm interested in reading more. If I was interested in reading more, I think I'd go with Hamlet. Um, the ones I have read are Romeo and Juliet, A Midsummer Night's Dream, um, King Lear, and Macbeth. Um, 15, Rebecca by Daphne du Maurier. Yes, I read it on, like, last Halloween. Loved it. Um, 17, or 16, is The Hobbit by J.A.R. Tolkien. Um, no, I haven't, and I'm not interested again. Um, 17 is Birdsong by Sebastian Folks. I haven't read that. I'm not even sure what that is. 18 is Catch in the Rye by J.G. Salinger. I've read it. I love it. Um... The Time Traveler's Wife by Audrey Niffenegger. Yes, I have read it, and I've seen the movie too. I think the book is definitely strange. <laughs> Stranger. <laughs> um, 20 is Middlemarch by George Eliot. Um, no, I haven't read it, and I don't know anything about it. Um, 21, Gone with the Wind by Margaret Mitchell. No, but I've seen the movie, and I would like to read the book, even though it's a brick. Um, 22 is Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald. Um, yes, I've read it. <laughs> I have not seen the movie yet, though, but I would like to. Probably a lot of these classics are movies. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of what happens, right? Um, 23 is Bleak House. My arm is hurting from holding that off. Um, by Charles Dickens? No. Um, where were we? 24 is War and Peace by Leo Tolstoy. No. Um, 25, The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy by Douglas Adams. No, but I think that's supposed to be funny, so it kind of intrigues me. 26, Bride's Head Revisited by Evelyn Wall. <laughs> Wall? Wall? No. Um, 27, Crime Punishment by Fior 
Fyodor, Fyodor Dostoevsky, no. 28 Grapes of Wrath, Grapes, Grapes of Wrath by John Steinbeck, no. Um, Alice in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll, yes. Um, the Wind in the Willows by Kenneth Graham, no. Anna Karenina by Leo Tolstoy, no, but I would like to, but it is also a brick. Um, 32, David Copperfield by Charles Dickens, no. 33, Chronicles of Narnia by C.F. Lewis. I've read The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, so I'll count that one. <laughs> um, 34, Emma by Jane Austen, yes. Persuasion by Jane Austen. I'm actually in the middle of reading that right now. Um, and then that'll be the last Jane Austen book that I would have to read to read all six. Um, here's The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, which I have read, so I guess we can count that point towards that one instead of the other. I don't know why it's here twice, but... Um, 37, The Kite Runner by Khaled Hassani. Hassini? No. 38, Captain Corelli's Mandolin by Louis de Bernal. No, and I've never heard of that. <laughs> Memoirs of Geisha by Arthur Golden. No. Wayne the Pooh by A.A. A. Milne. Um, yes. It's cute. <laughs> Animal Farm by George Orwell, yes. Um, the Da Vinci Code by Dan Brown, no, but I am intrigued, although I think there's also a brick. 101 Years of Solitude by Gabriel Garcia Marquez, no. A Prayer for Owen Meany by John Irving, no, and I've never heard of it. The Woman in White by Wilkie Collins, no. Anne of Green Gables by Ellen Montgomery, read it, loved it. <laughs> I'm trying to finish that series this year, there's um, nine books. Uh, Bar for the Matting Crowd by Thomas Hardy. No, but I've seen that movie and it was really boring. The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood. Yes, and I would like to read the sequel, The Testament. Um, Lord of the Flies by William Golding. Yes. Uh, Tonin by Ian McEwan. No. Life of Pi by Yann Martell. No. Dune by Frank Herbert. No. Cold Comfort Farm by Stella Gibbons. No, but I would like to see the movie. Sense and Sensibility by Jane Austen, yep. Um, A Suitable Boy by Vikram Seth, no, and I've never heard of it. The Shadow of the Wind by Carlos Riz Um, no, and I've never heard of it. Um, A Tale of Two Cities by Charles Dickens, no, you can turn the page. A Brave New World by Aldous Huxley, no. The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime by Mark Haddon, no. Love in the Time of Cholera by Gabriel Garcia Marquez. No, but I did just finish reading um, The Painted Veil, which also deals with cholera. <laughs> um, of Mice and Men by John Steinbeck. Yep, love it. Um, Lolita by Vladimir Nabokov. No, but I haven't seen the movie, and I would like to read that book too, which is also a brick. Um, the Secret History by Donna Hart. No, but I would like to. I think that's also long. Lovely Bones by Alice Siebold. Um, yep. Yeah. It was strange. Um, the Count of Monte Cristo by Alexander Dumas. No. On the Road by Jack Kerouac. Yes. It was strange. <laughs> Jude the Obscure by Thomas Hardy. No. And I've never heard of it. Bridget Jones' Diary by Helen Fielding. No. Midnight's Children by Salmon Rushdie. Um, no, and I've never heard of it. Moby Dick by Herman Melville, no. Oliver Twist, Charles Dickens, no. Dracula by Bram Stoker, yep, and I love it. Um, the Secret Garden by Frances Hodgson Burnett, yes, but the one I read was like adapted. <laughs> Still counts. <laughs> um, Notes from a Small Island by Bill Bryson, no, and I've never heard of it. The Ulysses by James Joyce, no. The Bell Jar by Sylvia pa Plath, yes. Um, Swallows and Amazons by Arthur Ransom, no, and I've never heard of it. Germinal by Emil Zola, and no, but I've never heard of that one either. Yeah, Vanity Fair by William Makepeace Thackeray, um, no, but I would like to. I think it's also long. <laughs> Possession by A.S. Byatt, yes. It was strange. A Christmas Carol, there it is, by Charles Dickens, yes, I read it last Christmas. Um, Cloud Atlas by David Mitchell, no. The Color Purple by Alice Walker, no, but it does intrigue me. 
They're made to the day by Kazuo Ishiguro. Um, no, I've never really heard of that. Um, Madame Bovary by Gustos Flebo. Um, no, but I would like to. A Fine Balance by, I think that says Robis, Robinson Mystery. Um, no, but I've never heard of it. Um, Charlotte's Web by E.B. White. Yes, it was strange. <laughs> the Five People You Mean in Heaven by Mitch Alborn. No. Um, Sherlock Holmes by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. No, and I'm not interested. Um, the Faraway Tree Collection by Enid Blyton. No, and I've never heard of it. Heart of Darkness by Joseph Conrad. No. The Little Prince by Antoine de saint Exploré. Yes. Strange. <laughs> The Wasp Factory by Ian Banks. Um, no, and I've never heard of it. Watership Down by Richard Adams. No. A Confederacy of Dunces by John Kennedy Toole. No. I think that's supposed to be funny too, though. Um, A Town Like Alice by Neville Shute. No, and I've never heard of it. Three Musketeers by Alexander Dumas. No. Um, Hamlet by William Shakespeare. No. <laughs> well, I don't know why Hamlet's down there when they already had Shakespeare up there, but... Um, no. And Charlie and Chalk Fetch by Royal Doll. Um, yes. Love it. And then the last one, number 100, is Les Miserables by Victor Hugo. And no, I haven't. And I'm not interested. And also it's long. So that's 100 classic books. And now I'm going to tally up my total. Stand by. I'm back. So that was 30 books that I've read out of 100. Only 30%. I guess I'm not as well read as I thought. <laughs> this was fun. Um, let me know what books on that list that you love or which ones you don't love, hate, and I will see you in next video.